Welcome to another video presentation from Holistic Health Coach. If you want to lose fat, then 65 to 70 percent of what you eat should come from healthy fats. And if you bring intermittent fasting into the equation, your body not only just gets efficient at burning fat, but most of your health issues, especially pertaining to insulin, cortisol, even your gut and digestion are taken care of. So in this video, let's have a look at all the healthy fats that you should be consuming on a daily basis. Let's talk about omega-3s. Basically, there are three types of omega-3 fatty acids. ALA, which is short chain in nature, EPAs, which are medium chain, and DHAs, which are long chain. Foods like flax seeds, chia seeds, even walnuts are very rich in ALA. But the problem is the body converts a very small amount of ALA to EPAs and almost none of it gets converted into DHAs. So if you are a vegetarian or vegan, you should be looking into supplementation, especially EPAs and DHAs from a plant-based source. There are supplements which are made from sea vegetables. For those of you who are not vegetarians, you can try eating fatty fishes like sardines, mackerel, even salmons, or even try supplementing with omega-3 fish oils. Omega-6s are polyunsaturated fats. Omega-6s are usually marketed as being healthy, but in reality, they are not. Many kind of nuts and seeds and vegetable oils are very high in omega-6 fatty acids. The process of extraction of these oils from the vegetables makes them more rancid and uh, oxidized. So that's the number one reason why they are not healthy. Secondly, when omega-6 oils are exposed to heat, especially during cooking, they are very unstable in nature and, and convert into trans fats. And finally, omega-6s are very inflammatory in nature. So try to avoid using vegetable oils as much as possible. Consuming nuts and seeds is a much healthier way of getting your omega-6s. But you do need to understand that you cannot have too much of omega-6s without enough omega-3s. Again, omega-6s are inflammatory and omega-3s are anti-inflammatory. If you do consume omega-6s, make sure you are balancing them out by consuming enough omega-3s. Omega-7s and omega-9s are monounsaturated fats. Omega-7s are known as palmitoleic acid and they are known to reduce inflammation in the body and also to improve insulin sensitivity. Nuts like macadamia nuts and pecans are richest source of omega-7s. Omega-9s are known as oleic acid. It's great for people with hypertension as it works naturally to bring your blood pressure down and they are a very powerful antioxidant, especially at a cellular level. Foods like avocados, olives, olive oil and even avocado oils are the richest source of omega-9 fatty acids. Saturated fats and cholesterol have always had this bad rap, but in reality they are not the enemy. They have some of the most important functions in the body. It could be balancing out your hormones, healing inflammation, and even maintaining your neurological health. There are two types of saturated fats. You have plant-based and animal-based. Plant-based saturated fats comes from coconuts and coconut oil, whereas animal-based is cheese, butter, egg yolks, and animal fat. One thing to keep in mind while consuming animal-based saturated fats is that you need to make sure they are coming from a grass-fed organic source as compared to conventionally raised animals. Saturated fats need to be consumed in moderation. But saturated fats are great for cooking. They are very stable under heat, which means they do not convert to trans fat. They do not hydrogenate so easily. So cooking with coconut oil, butter, even ghee would be a lot more healthier as compared to cooking with uh, omega-6 uh, vegetable oils. 
Finally, let's talk about trans fats, which are the worst kinds of fats. The body does not recognize trans fats, which is why the body has a very tough time breaking them down. And research even suggests that it takes about 51 days to break them down. Trans fats are usually used in products to increase shelf life. So you can find them in packaged products like cookies and crisps. And even if you cook with omega-6 oils, the heat converts, uh, creates hydrogenation and makes them into trans fats. So try to limit your trans fat as much as possible. Hope this video was informative to you. And if it was, please leave a like. Please feel free to share your feedback with me in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon.